It's December the 5th, it's the first day of the eagerly anticipated Herco Christmas Open House. Later on uh, today I'm going to catch up with David Waghorn who's going to tell us about the event and some of the machines here and how good a year this year has been for Herco. But in the interim what we're going to do is start with something a little bit different. I'm going to hand the microphone over to my colleague Giovanni who's going to go and catch up with some of the engineers to find out what they like about Herco machines. Gio, how are you doing? Over to you. Oh, fine, thanks Paul. It's fine. Why have you came here today in particular and what have you come to see? We've um, just come here with our eyes open uh, from Edinburgh University. We bought a VM10 uh, just in, in the summer. So we're just looking at other machines and see what we could hopefully get added to our workshop. I'm here today to buy us to look at buying a smaller Herco machining centre to fit next to the machining centre we've currently got and perhaps to look at a TM6 uh, lathe. Hey Marcus, we've got something unique here, something I've not seen before at a show. Twin spindle fifth axis rotary table. Can you tell me a little bit about this please? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's the smallest in its class. Um, as you say, it's a, a twin spindle rotary table so you can present twice as many components to the spindle. Keeps the machine running longer. Why are you here today and, and what have you come to see in particular? Um, in particular I've come to see the VM10. Um, I've worked with Herco all my career. Um, just the simplicity of it, programming, machining, um, so I've decided to stick with them. I uh, hope to purchase a new machine in the, in the new year, so that's why we're here. Ian, what have we got here? Right, we're here today at uh, Herco's Open House, first time uh, for a few years with a demo robot for a Compact uh, 80 onto one of their five axis machines. Matt, this looks a really compact solution here. Can you tell me a little bit about it, please? Well, what we've done here is trying to utilise the full working envelope of the machine. As you can see, it's quite a small machine with a small footprint, a 450 by 350, I think, working area. But we've got a 600 by 400 table on there, fully utilising every part of that working envelope. So it's just showing that you don't always need a big machine to get multiple parts on there. So we've come down today to have a look at, we've got two Hercos already. Um, we come down, we might be in the market for replacing some aging uh, other machines, looking at possible five axis capabilities that Herco do. So. Is this your first time at the Herco Open House? Yes, it is, yeah. And what have you came to see today in particular? Uh, potentially new machines that we'll be buying in the next couple of years. Have you got any Hercos at present? We, we have one at the moment. So. And, and any machine in particular you're looking at today? Uh, a small, well, uh, BM30 and a, a possible lathe as well for the future. Are user friendly? Yeah, very. Yeah, very. And reliable, so that's the main point. Yeah, we don't, we don't have very many issues with the Hercos. We've got 10 CNC uh, machines um, at the moment, um, and they're probably one of the least, le least sort of maintenance uh, required machines we've got, like, you know. So. Keith, you having a good show? Yes, Giovanni, it's been uh, really, really good. Uh, we we uh, attend every year and it's always very good for us in as much that we've been partners with Herco for 15, 20 years, both on the spindle nose tool in front and also most recently uh, with the driven tool in fillets. So yeah, great show, great show. Uh, it's, it is a good show, we're enjoying ourselves. Uh, we're really here just to look around and see what kind of new, new innovations are there, what new programming types and new machining types are available. We're here today to support our technical partner, Herco Machine Tools, and this specific machine tool demonstration we got being showcased today is our waveform turning, our productivity turning solution. Here at the Herco Open House, our Hanksler's products is the safest on the market because it contains none of the hazardous ingredients that a lot of our competitors are still using today, even though legislation, which is coming to force next year, will eliminate a lot of those hazardous products. We are already in front of the curve. Oh yeah, 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 we've been happy with Harco now for the last couple of years and we're definitely happy to continue working with Harco. David, nearing the end of day one here at your event, it's been a very busy day for you again. How do you make this event so successful? I think a lot of people know it's going to happen. We have it in the calendars right from the start of the year. Um, and we like to show a bit of, you know, show some new technology and also do a couple of X demo deals and try and attract people with, with also a lot of information. There's a lot to learn at one of these shows. There's more than just your machines as well. I know they're the focal point, but you've got a lot of partners here too. 
Yeah, there's um, Work Holding, CAD CAM, um, Renishaw always come, finance guys are here in case anyone's ready to do a deal. Um, yeah, yeah, it's something for everything. All our main suppliers, all the guys we like to do, deal with are here. Coupled with a busy event, you've had a very busy year as well. Tell us about how 2017 has been for Herco. Yeah, it's been another record year. It's been a fabulous re result, really, for us. Um, we're sort of peaking around 20, 23 million turnover, and we've seen a lot of growth on the higher value, more sophisticated machinery. And if you compared that to where you were maybe a decade ago, what, what's the difference? Yeah, actually, value per, per machine is probably twice what it was. Um, we're selling a lot, a lot more probing, a lot more, um, say, a lot more five-axis, fourth-axis stuff, a lot more high-speed machines, through spindle cool and things like that. And, but do you think that the, the kind of growth is because you've got more products in the portfolio, or is it just that the, the Herco brand really is something that people want? combination of both again um, we're certainly growing as a company we're definitely taking market share and our machines are becoming more sophisticated so I think particularly the five axis side now we're really recognized as a big five axis seller but people like the three axis machines as well it depends on what you're looking for really and people that were coming here what would they have seen today what machines are the highlights um, yeah there's some there's some new products we're previewing a brand new machine in the BX40 which is a um, little bit faster, a little bit more accurate than what we've offered before. Um, there's a nice new lathe control that we're previewing that hopefully we'll see a lot more of at Mac. Um, and then there's, there's some good deals on the turning setters, things like that. I know you've done some deals uh, and I also know that stock has often been hard to come by this year because it's been so good. That's a, probably a good way to end the year for you, isn't it? Um, it's nice to know that all your machines are sold. Um, I'm At the moment, I've got to get onto the States this afternoon and see if they can make me some more machines. Good stuff. I'll let you go and make that call. Cool. Thank you, David. Thank you.